So this question is a diagram question because all of the information provided is in this visual here, this table that's been given to us. So the title here says energy per gram of typical macronutrient. We have our macronutrients listed, and we know that because of the title in that first column. We also know the amount of calories in uh, one gram of each of these macronutrients and the kilojoules in one gram of each of these macronutrients. So this information just goes, you know, to tell us what that means in wording. And so in words, it says the table above gives the typical amounts of energy per gram expressed in both food calories and kilojoules of the three macronutrients in food. So the question says, if X food calories is equivalent to K kilojoules of the following, which best represents the relationship between X and K? So we have, again, protein, uh, fat, and I'll just say carb. Now, instead of saying food calories, I'm going to say, well, that's X, right? So for X, we get 4, 9, and 4. And instead of kilojoules, I'm going to just call that K. So we get 16.7, 37.7, and 16.7. Obviously, we could have just done this as well without rewriting the entire table. So we're going to just really do something that I call um, plug in, right? We're going to plug in information from the question. So how do we do that? Well, choice A says that K is equal to 0.24X. Well, is that true? Well, I can test out the first row here for protein. The K value for protein is 16.7. So is it true that 16.7 is equal to 0.24 times the X value for protein, which is 4? No, 16.7 does not equal 0.24 times 4. So I'm going to say answer choice, K, answer choice A is gone. How about answer choice B? So B says that K equals 4.2X. So let's test that out. Is it true that 16.7 is equal to 4.2 times 4? Now, if you put 4.2 times 4 into your calculator, you're going to get 16.8. Now, I think for this question, that's going to be good enough. But we'll, we'll, I'll check mark it and then continue on to see if that's going to be the best, the best answer. We, we do say which, we do see this as which best represents. Anytime you see this word best, typically means it's not going to be the exact answer, just which one's closest. But I like B, but let's move on and see if C is a good answer. So choice C says that X equals 4.2K. Let's check that out. Well, for protein, X is 4. So is it true that 4 is equal to 4.2 times, again, for protein, K is 16.7? And no, that is, that is not true. So C is gone. And then lastly, we have D. D says that X times K is equal to 4.2. And again, for protein, at least, we say, well, that means that 4 times 16.7 should equal 4.2. And that's also not true. So although 16.7 is not exactly the same as 16.8, this is the best answer. And again, the question did say which best represents the relationship, right? Not which one is equivalent to the relationship. So choice B here is the best answer. Again, if, you know, if you're asking, well, what ha why did you only use protein? Could, could you have used fat or carbs? Really, it should work for all of them. So if you want to be extra certain, um, we could go back to choice B and say, well, what happens when we use fat? Again, K equals 4.2 times X. Well, for fat, the K value is 37.7. So we're asking, is it true that 37.7 equals 4.2 times 9? And you will see that that is, again, not exactly correct, but very, very close to the right answer. So again, that's that would be using protein, getting us basically very close, as long as, as well as using fat. Carbs would also um, help. So that would uh, <clears throat> that would let us know that choice B is the best answer there.